a Node.js application. So in this section, we're going to take a look at how we have built a simple Twitter query application, how a Redis cache was added to that application, and then we're going to conclude a simple Twitter query app. So first thing you need to do to start looking at this is get the example app that I wrote. Uh, you want to ensure that you have get installed and node installed. So you can see get-scm.com is here. You would just go to downloads over here and it would show you and start the download. And node.js.org slash downloads has several downloads that you can do. Uh, both of these are out of scope to show exactly how you go through the download process uh, and install process, but it's really pretty straightforward. The next thing you need to do is do a clone of the project from GitHub and then run npm install to install the dependencies. So we want to uh, do the git clone rapid redis. This will actually create a directory called rapid redis. We go into that and run npm install. And that will install all the dependencies that we need to be able to run this, which as you can see, it's a Redis module and a Twitter module. Now, if you look at the directory structure of what you just downloaded, you're going to see something similar to this. Uh, there's only a few files. Um, there's a readme file, which gives you some basic information that we're going to cover here anyway. Uh, we have a cache, config, index, package.json and Twitter, and then node modules, which is basically your dependencies. And the quick rundown on this is index.js is actually what drives the application, reads from the command line, and then runs the query. Twitter.js queries Twitter and then calls cache.js to cache the responses. Cache handles the database cache, the Redis cache, and then config has some config values, and we'll go over all this too. So just to summarize what we've done here is just set up so that we can talk about this in a minute. But you now should have installed a basic Node.js Redis application, and we should be about ready to run. So our next section is talking about the Redis cache.